There we go. Thank you. Um, and you see, you would like to say a couple of words before I get started? Yes, of course. Uh, thank you, Enrique, for uh, yeah for this occasion for us, for Indira. Um, Silvia and I have been invited to present and in introduce this um, table, let's say, that is a part of the action uh, included in the Mensi project. And the main aim is to let's say collect or let participate uh, um, advisory board, board members and uh, um, other um, yeah other subjects that are interested specifically to small and rural school context um, and for this occasion we uh, in fact invited our representative of the small and rural school uh, Alfina Berté who in a couple of minutes will uh, take uh, take the shelf to describe a little bit the context. Um, in order to give more detail about the function, the aim of the table, I will pass the shelf to Enrique. Uh, and then uh, the um, table will have uh, the opportunity to, to discuss about uh, uh, not specifically, not only Mensi, the Mensi project, but uh, the, the objective to uh, let's say create in a way mentoring policy among the pa the partners, and so what could be the the mo most suitable tool to include to disseminate this kind of activity among the partner country, and uh, so I pass the shelf to Enrique, and then uh, we'll go on with the other points. Thank you, Enrique, and the shelf is yours. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to start uh, by thanking uh, Jussi, so Josepina Canela and Cynthia Balsavolta from Indire, and again, all of the Indire team uh, for organizing uh, this session. I, I know they put quite some effort uh, in doing so. Um, I start by introducing myself. I'm Enrique Martin. I am the Mensi project manager. Um, I, I will provide a very, very short uh, introduction to the project and the actions that we are uh, pushing forward within the advisory members and uh, the Ministry of Education uh, that are part of this discussion. Also because today in the meeting we have a couple of new uh, members and new participants that have not been involved in the project in the past. So I thought it would be uh, useful to give a couple of uh, reminders of what is it that we are doing and where is it that we are coming uh, um, from? Um, as uh, Jussi already mentioned, there will be plenty of time for discussion. In any case, please feel free to interrupt me at any moment uh, in case you have any any questions. Um, well, um, the MENSI project, MENSI uh, stands for uh, Mentoring for School Improvement. It's a 28-month um, coordination and support action. We, we launched the project in November um, 2020 and it's funded by the European Commission Horizon 2020 program. We are carrying out a pan-European investigation into how different um, approaches to mentoring can support the mainstreaming of innovative digital uh, teaching practices in both primary and secondary. Uh, and for this we have involved uh, Ministers of Education and other regional authorities in, in six European countries, so in, in Flanders, here in Belgium, in Croatia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Italy and Portugal. We have created a network of 24 mental schools that's working with our overall uh, group of 96 uh, mentee schools. Just to summarize very quickly, what are the key objectives of the project? Well, of course, uh, to investigate these approaches to school to school mentoring theory and practice, to create a network of mentor and mentee schools like the one we have already mentioned. We have 24 uh, ongoing uh, mentoring clusters. To analyze the effectiveness of school school practice and, 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 and this we do so not only through the means of the project, but we are also collaborating very closely with the selfie team, which is also a part of the uh, advisory members of the project. And I believe they're also um, uh, here attending the meeting uh, today. We aim to provide uh, uh, evidence based 
recommendations and guidelines by the end of the project, not only to schools, but also to all the stakeholders involved. And maybe um, more importantly, connected to the meeting today to create a community of practice and professional development opportunities, not only for a wider uh, group of school staff, but also uh, connected to the exchange uh, mechanism for policymakers and stakeholders. We have already over uh, 20 advisory members uh, registered to the board. This is a key element uh, to provide uh, ministries and, and other related stakeholders opportunities to collect uh, and compare cases of successful and unsuccessful um, whole school peer learning. Um, so yes, following similar initiatives in other in other projects that we have uh, developed in the past, uh, we decided to extend uh, the reach of the consortium by inviting uh, the relevant stakeholders uh, to participate in the in the project. Um, a number of uh, EU and organizations are of course part of the of of the project, but this include other ministries of education, regional and municipality authorities, um, organizations working in the area of school to school mentoring, EU funded projects. We also have a couple of private organizations that have also been given very valuable advice. Um, a couple of meetings have been organized uh, in the past, linked not only to the general assembly of the project, uh, but also to a specific ad hoc elements uh, that we uh, needed advice and were very keen um, um, to organize. Um, thematic webinars are currently being scheduled, like the one that we are attending today, focusing on specific topics and linked as part of the policy exchange mechanism that I will give um, a couple of words uh, later on. Um, as you may see from the attendees, we have quite a nurtured representation uh, of partner countries, uh, but not only because we also have quite many representatives from outside the partner um, organizations. And I have to say that um, so far, although most of the activities um, are gaining strength, uh, have gained strength in the last couple of months within the project, advisory members have already contributed in the past with the discussions to elements such as the mentoring course, the mentoring workshop, sorry, or the online course. And these um, uh, contributions have very have been very positively evaluated by the reviewers of the project. So uh, this goes from the collaboration with the selfie team, but also with the certain elements that were raised by the advisory members, such as the use of the theory of change as part of the way we communicate uh, uh, with schools and they build their own projects, uh, the way that we deal with fatigue of schools within the project that was part of a discussion that we had in the past with the advisory members and online connections. So there's many things that have been uh, very useful in the discussion. This is, of course, connected to the overall strategy of the project. So MENSI has been designed to maximize impact via two ways uh, on schools and education uh, ministries participating in the projects and through dissemination activities. So the challenge is to encourage the growth of the network in a sustainable way by acquiring new members that are interested to invest in the community in terms of uh, collaboration in the long term, not just as part of, uh, of the project, of course, uh, which will require uh, both interesting and, and relevant content from our side uh, to be to be developed. It's a crucial part also of the project, everything that's connected to uh, CPD, continuous professional development. Uh, the Menzi Whole School uh, Mentoring MOOC uh, will be launched by the end of the project uh, and intends to provide training in whole school mentoring uh, and promote the mentoring, uh, sorry, the Menzi results to a wider uh, community, as we said before, not only of uh, uh, teachers but also policymakers within the uh, regions uh, of the project and beyond. Um, our advisory members, that as already mentioned earlier, um, the project intends to continue extending its outreach in this means, but also because we believe that it enriches the, the resources that we create in the project. And finally, connected to the uh, community um, of practice and the mentoring policy exchange, well, the aim is that uh, the Mensi platform, um, including, uh, as I said, the community of practice will be sustained 
as a service, as a service, sorry, for ministries under the Future Classroom Lab that I'm sure that most of you know very well. In a similar way to which the um, um, validation service was developed in previous uh, European Schoolnet projects, um, in order to integrate um, our activities with the permanent, uh, permanent FCL um, actions. To this, uh, to achieve this, our aim is for ministries, partners, and advisory members to support the development of the final exploitation plan to ensure that. Sustainability will go uh, uh, beyond the project and will connect to many other um, uh, realities and alternatives. And uh, my very last uh, comment goes in relation to the reason why we are here today. Essential to maximize the impact of the mentoring project is to launch uh, the mentoring policy exchange, uh, which is a mechanism for policymakers and decision makers. Uh, to work both at the national and local level. And we follow similar examples of already ongoing working groups. So some of the representatives that we have here today belong to the small and rural schools and interact on classroom uh, interest groups um, of the UN. So we will include um, both regular meetings and hopefully in the future, if we are able to, uh, to develop face-to-face -face meetings as well. And in this regard, well, we aim to provide a forum uh, to create the discussion between the project partners and share uh, the MENSI findings and recommendations um, to the ministries and to our stakeholders. And once established, uh, of course, we also hope that uh, uh, ministry supporting this new mechanism may also uh, seek to involve and obtain uh, support for additional uh, future work on whole school mentoring um, for the more than 30 industry partners that are currently part of the EU and Future Classroom Lab. Having said so, um, you can always reach me via email. I've added my email to the presentation in case you want to contact me directly for any other mean. And I have also added uh, the links for the social media and uh, website, which is in the next slide. So feel free to ask your questions not only throughout the meeting, but also if you have any questions directly via email to myself as a follow-up of the meeting. So thank you, Enrique, for your introduction, which is uh, full of details also about the project. And uh, now probably we can move to the presentation on one of the topic that uh, the project deals with. So the small and rural schools, uh, let's say, research activity, a research group, which here is represented by uh, Alfina Berté. Uh, is, she is uh, the leader, the school leader of one of the four Italian cluster uh, mentor schools. Um, she uh, is working with the, with the teachers and the other school of the, the main T schools um, on the introduction of a ICT, of course, but also on the outdoor uh, activity. Um, so, in order to pilot the, the, the yeah the, the junction of uh, ICT outside the school, and we uh, observed what is going on in one of the Menti school uh, that we are going to visit, and we are going also to um, let's say to start or to yeah the the first uh, the first um, mentoring uh, workshop that uh, will will go will yeah will be in uh, next saturday with the, all the school of the cluster uh, i will ask to alfina if she can tell us about something about the small and rural school uh, let's say networking or that she is leading as a school lower secondary school school leader and also if she can tell us something about the mentoring process that the the school men the school the mentor school is setting up with the other mentee schools uh, of the cluster because we in italy uh, have been experiencing um, different processes of mentoring. And, uh, this cluster, represented by Alfina, is one of the process, one of the possibility uh, of mentoring. 
Alfina, please, the shelf is your own. Thank you. Thank you, Juicy. Nice to meet you. And thanks to all of you for this opportunity to be here and to tell about uh, our, our network, uh, uh, or at, at least at the beginning of, of the first step of this network in Sicily. Because for us, um, this uh, project um, is, uh, is important to uh, begin with a network in Sicily about the themes. Um, we started to um, innovation, to begin with innovation, outdoor ICT and other innovation in our school, but it's not easy to spread this innovation, to communicate with other schools. So for us, it's a, 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 very, a very important opportunity for us. Uh, first of all, because we are uh, followed and led by Indire, and, uh, and not only um, by Indire, but all of, of, this, uh, of this project, this important. And um, um, we are uh, six uh, Minty school and one mentor school. Uh, and we are all over the Sicily. We are really distant. And uh, at about also four, four or five hours uh, distance by car. So um, we think that uh, thanks to the, the last two years of uh, a, a new development in using ICT, because we know the, the, the reason in all over the world, we, we, we began to uh, use ICT in a functional way. Um, so we can um, communicate uh, in, a, um, in, a, in a functional um, way with the schools that are uh, very distant from, from, from us. Uh, for instance, uh, um, yesterday we had a meeting with Favignana. Favignana is a little uh, school in Favignana Island. It's very distant from Maciriale, it's the opposite. But we had a good meeting together. So we are trying to, uh, to, to think about what the, the, the best process to um, try to change, to try to improve. Because if you want to improve, you, have, you know you have to change. So it, it, we, um, it, it's important to, to, to have an idea a, a, um, a framework, but uh, at the same time, in, in theory, okay, but at the same time to, to meet the other, to meet other uh, head teacher and to meet other teacher all together, to, um, to feel, to, to, to think about uh, um, the problems or good opportunities. So we are trying to go on using SWOT analysis, for instance. Uh, it, we, we think this is a good way to lead other school to focus on problems and to mm, succeed in uh, look at the problems uh, as opportunities uh, to change and how to change. We started um, with a um, gaming cycle, plan, do, check, act, and uh, we started um, giving uh, other mentee school uh, the, our, our way of planning uh, in order to, 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 to give a, 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 a first model. But we know also that um, you can't apply a model in another school as it is. But uh, we offer our model of planning uh, to change. To change and to, uh, to, to, to make that way of planning days. Otherwise, uh, we know it, 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 you can do in the, in the deep, in the deep, uh, in the deep change. And uh, then uh, they, we, are, we are following them in the do phase. And uh, we are meeting in, uh, in, uh, in 
in presence and in uh, at distance. And uh, next uh, Saturday, we'll uh, we have a meeting, our meeting, and we um, stay together to to um, to to think about uh, um, SWOT analysis uh, in, in the, these two phases, plan and do. And since when uh, the, the first of April uh, until uh, uh, May. We will go. We will go, teacher and uh, and, and the head teacher, to the other school to visit them and to 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 check. But I said uh, I I said them check is not evaluation. Check is to look together what's good, what's it to where we had the problems uh, and how to improve them. Um, and uh, this phase, uh, um, at, at the first moment, uh, was uh, considered uh, with a, a little of, of, um, of um, uh, oh, anxiety. No, I don't know at the moment. Uh, uh, with um, a stress, it was a, a uh, it was a stress for them. It was stress because. Uh, Mm, what we have to show you, what we have, uh, what we are doing. So um, I use these words. I, I said them uh, with pupils. We verify. We verify to to uh, make them improve, not to judge. And so these simple, easy words. At the moment, uh, give us uh, the hope that uh, this process uh, uh, could be a deep process and not only um, to apply a model and uh, and and so. Okay, I think that for the moment um, we can we can stop and I just um, add some more information about uh, the small and rural school context uh, where. Alfina uh, is working uh, and the other school as well. In this cluster, we, we included mm, basically only small and rural schools, which have different uh, um, issue, which need to face different issue. One of these is the isolation, either of, of the student and of the teachers, in terms of uh, professional isolation and also um, isolation due to the geographical condition. For example, Alfina mentioned the, um, the dialogue, the, the contact with a teacher in the small island of Favignana, which is a very, very small island based in the Mediterranean Sea. We, uh, we were indeed at work with this uh, small island uh, for a long time. So I, geographical isolation, which means cultural isolation and uh, isolation of teacher in terms of professional development, and al also isolation in terms of uh, student, um, let's say, student isolation um, is, is connected to a um, poor curriculum, we say, in a way. This okay, the occasion of the Menci, the Menci project uh, using ICT, as Alfina uh, highlighted, uh, gave them the opportunity to keep in contact, to connect uh, on, a, um, on a territory which is in the south of Italy, in particular Sicily, which is very, very big island and uh, far, very far from each other. Uh, other kind of isolation that, for example, ICT helped them to overcome um, is, as I say, the teacher professional development. The teacher that are participating in this, in this project are experiencing the opportunity to exchange teaching practices. And Alfina, another word that uh, she, she used in order to, uh, as a sort of keywords, uh, she used the, is the term, the word change and innovation, I would say, because she, um, she, her schools, her school worked or is part of a national network of school um, that uh, have been experiencing for many years now, 
to be part of uh, uh, e-twinning project or to other kind of national project that helped them, I mean, the community of teacher to improve their professional activity, their uh, active, they, their approach to teaching. And this is the reason why uh, initially at the beginning we decided to involve them or to propose them to be part of this meeting of this uh, project, Mensi project, in order to share or to, to do this uh, uh, school to school mentoring activity so as they can uh, um, they can share with the small school the process that they learned, that, that they experienced in the past few years with the national with other national uh, schools. So, um, and the tools that uh, uh, she and uh, her community of teacher uh, has been using are the SWOT analysis or the um, planning uh, um, tools to introduce this kind of change. And this is the reason why um, seems to be interesting for us because uh, the process, process of change need time to be practiced, to be experienced, which is uh, what is happening, is experiencing other uh, mentee school at the moment that are um, connected to the cluster that Alfina is leading. And uh, um, so the, the word that uh, I could say I, I will use for their um, approach that their approach is the process another another cluster of um, small and rural school in order to overcome isolation they are working and this uh, other cluster is not present here today with us but is working on active teaching practices mainly acting teaching practices and they are just uh, working on teacher professional development um sharing teaching practices that are uh, active that are uh, that involve students in an active way using also uh, the outside uh, the the neighborhood of the school uh, i will say that we can stop just for a while for a moment and pass the shelf to another experience that uh, um, today one one of the other partner mentioned to be um, to, yeah to 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 yeah to, to be part of this table or as a voice uh, of small and rural school in another country not not only Italian um, team which is Lucy who is uh, Lucy some uh, okay sorry I don't I'm not able to pronounce your uh, <laughs> No worry, no, no worries, no worries. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you for passing uh, the torch, the <laughs> metaphorical torch. It's very nice to be with you here all. Um, I will not take too many minutes of your time because I believe the discussion afterwards might be much more rewarding than me giving you info on how we manage small and rural schools here in the Czech Republic. Uh, there are a few points I'd like to make. I believe we share many views with Juzi here, um, given the location, given the geographical uh, points. And I've also heard the word e-twinning, that it's something I'd like uh, to share with you all as well. Um, just a brief update on what's going on here in Czech Republic at all schools and it is one of the reasons that uh, I am here and not the representatives because at the moment they have their hands full with uh, with what is going on at the moment with uh, trying to with trying to welcome uh, Ukrainian refugees with open arms into schools and to make them part of the educational system so they are a bit occupied at the moment um, the way small and rural schools cooperate here, besides being part of Mensi project, is they work on a national level. They work uh, within their own region. Uh, there is rough something. Uh, there is a group that roughly translates as local action group, and they have their they have their seminars. Uh, they participate on creating. Um, 
spreadsheets, worksheets that can be used across the region. So not only do the teachers cooperate together, but also the children get to get to um, get to know better their surroundings, the place where they live, and um, they have, if I'm not mistaken, monthly or monthly meetings, um, or as uh, the situation requires. Us as DESISA or Czech International Agency, uh, Czech National Agency for International Education and Research, what we try to do is we try to motivate not only the headmasters, uh, but also the teachers to communicate outside Mensa project, outside local groups, and we try to facilitate meetings. Um, twice a year here, uh, we have a headmasters meeting. This year, we'd like to invite more teachers to participate. Uh, it's a two days event where they get to me, they get to talk about the issues that are specifically related to small and rural areas. And we try to listen and see what they need and how we can give it to them. Uh, the main point is motivation, that is for sure. And what we are trying to show them is that e-twinning is a really good way uh, how to cooperate internationally, of course, but also nationally if there's no other way. And uh, I am proud to say that four of our e-twinning ambassadors are part of small and rural schools. Uh, we believe and we hope to present uh, their uh, we hope to present their um, work uh, at certain point because what they do is amazing and what they have achieved with digital technologies as uh, I believe truly inspiring. If there are any questions, we'd be more than happy to answer them or if I see some Czech names here. So if anybody would be interested, please do get in touch and we are more than happy to uh, support you and to provide you with what we can uh, and how we can. Anyway, thank you for your attention and if um, I look forward to the following discussion. Thank you, Lucy, and for your presentation and also in your speech, I can recognize some keywords such as cooperation and motivation of, of, of course, of teacher and student at the moment or until now we can say using uh, e-twinning project or uh, Erasmus, but uh, the keywords because we um, as Indira investigated this, uh, the opportunity that the school catch in working in e-twinning gave them um, yeah, the, the, um, the opportunity to innovate or, or to change their, process, their educational uh, process or the educational offer. Uh, so the, 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 this is basically what I, as far as I know, or I have uh, seen until now, the, um, the main aim of the Mensi project. So the school to school collab collaboration or mentoring activity that start from a, a very small group of teachers inside each school that then um, co that collaborate, can collaborate uh, uh, with other schools uh, of the network. And then this collaboration and the professional development that they yeah, collect, that they perceive uh, during the collaboration can be uh, a sort of seeds of uh, innovation. And um, this is the reason why now we can open uh, the table, uh, we can do a sort of, uh, uh, yeah, um, open the discussion to the to the table if Silvia would like to add some uh, information or some detail about this uh, process of mentoring that she observed because Silvia is a our uh, Menci national coordinator for the Italian uh, group of school cluster schools uh, and she is uh, looking particularly at the secondary school where the dynamics let's say the the Mm, processes of mentoring are, are slightly different from the uh, lower secondary that I look for. Silvia, if you would like to add, please, the, show, the shelf is yours. 
Thank you, thank you, Juzi, and uh, thank you uh, also for the uh, contribution before from the colleagues. Uh, yes, I tried to understand so far what what was the experience of the different clusters in Italy, uh, and uh, I I read uh, a tool that uh, probably you are not you are not aware of, which is uh, we call uh, it is a research uh, instrument we are using to gather the experience of working in a cluster to you working in this mentoring process and uh, we tried to understand what is the uh, most benefit for the schools uh, and uh, and so reading these uh, diaries these uh, learning diaries i would say uh, it is clear that as the colleague was saying one one keyword one uh, um, lever is uh, motivation but it is, it is also the possibility to to get and alfina was uh, was uh, saying it to have a feedback on what you are uh, doing and and this is very useful because you um when you try to talk and to share your experience outside this helps a lot also for the internal communication so it is uh, um, quite a it, it seems a paradox that uh, in order to improve internal communication and internal um, opportunities for learning from one another so internal mentoring uh, uh, an external um, process of mentoring is very beneficial so this is something that um, may made us very uh, i mean um, reflect this was a first element uh, to share a common language when you are trying to communicate uh, with a, uh, another culture another context you cannot give and for granted certain uh, words certain constructs certain definitions so this helps for clarity of vision for planning and also an internal reflection and collaboration so um what we uh, our let's say research uh, questions are also um standing from a national point of view um, as you know all are um uh, dealing with how can we boost and can we support horizontal processes of mentoring because in a sustainable model of, of uh, continuing professional development uh, we think that uh, this cross school um, uh, mentoring even though uh, as alfina was saying that uh, we provided some structure some hints for um, let's say organizing designing some cycles in in fact they uh, they all, all the clusters personalized their uh, let's say their action so uh, we think that we wanted to, I mean, to open the discussion and to know if you have some uh, experiences to share uh, in order to understand how at the central or national policy uh, making level, we could provide some suggestions uh, in order to boost mentoring processes. So, I mean, if you have any experience, we really would like to learn from from yours. So probably the discussion is open to anyone who like to participate, to give, to give a contribution either in terms of uh, experience in a small and rural school context or in a standard school, but about school, um, collabor school collaboration or mentoring uh, specifically. If you have uh, uh, yeah, experience or have been observing uh, investigation in school, in, uh, in school, about mentoring activity. We can add just that, how can I say, in, in DIRE we have, of, have been observing that the observation unit is not more, no more the classroom, the single classroom, but the school uh, in its entirety. Because uh, uh, if you would like to change 
um, and to, to have a vision of educational vision that include uh, all the community of teacher and uh, a sort of innovation that uh, involve or that have an impact on, uh, on all the community, uh, you need to, of course, uh, um, improve and change, start from a small cell and then uh, that you uh, the school should extend this innovation to the entire, the entire school. And uh, with Alfina, we observe that, for example, if you change the space, space organization, the time, the, the, yeah, the time of the school, I mean, in terms of, uh, um, yes, um, unity of the classroom or classroom activity, um, there's two or three uh, pillar, space, time and teaching activity have an impact on the school as a whole. And this uh, create or uh, change the school organization, change the school vision. OK, we have <coughs> our the first uh, um, the Ireland colleague, Irish colleague, sorry, da Daiti, could you help us to pronounce your name, please? Yes. Uh, uh, first was bonjour, no, and hello, everybody, and the eve. Uh, Dahi, Dahi, Dahi. Just think of stupid male, Da, <laughs> Bart Simpson, and male being a he. <laughs> so Dahi. Um, no. First of all, thank you so much again. The uh, to start on a controversial note with the pandemic. We and every school globally went through a revolution of having to deal with the reality of what teaching and learning actually meant. Schools that were not ready technologically had to go from Neanderthal to virtually artificial intelligence in a matter of months. Indeed, many rural schools and communities suffered greatly because there was no broadband, there was no connectivity. Something that arose very quickly was that many national governments in their policy to give broadband connectivity technology to schools had forgotten the basics that if you do not have fuel, then you cannot ride the bicycle, which is your legs, nor can you drive a car, even if it is electric or solar. So the first thing we learned was that the two years accelerated greatly. That's a big thing. What was necessary to deliver at that time blended learning. Now we won't go into hybrid or anything. The second thing we learned was mentoring became a totally different animal or concept. Before it was peer to peer mentoring. It was the idea of it could have been individual one on one. It could have been delivered by education centers, by central government. But mentoring very often became for many teachers in rural schools ringing up and saying, Sylvia, I'm using Google Classroom. I haven't a clue how to upload documents. Mentoring became the mother of necessity. It became something the teachers had to engage with. And it was something that was we would say on the hoof in Ireland, happening immediately, synchronously, asynchronously, but very often teachers were just one millimeter ahead of the students. Actually, dare I say it, students were probably ahead of most teachers during COVID when it came to technology. We won't even talk about hardware, so mentoring and rural schools. The whole idea of mentoring now is that schools have had to develop a new culture a new mindset, a new way of engaging, a culture, a mindset engaging. I use the word, they had to enculture themselves in a 21st century reality of what it is to be mentored, to mentor, to access mentoring programs. Many groups in Ireland, like the PDST, which is the, the which would be government run out of Dublin West Education Centre, and indeed NIPT, National Induction Program for Teachers, and indeed the government itself have reached out and through many European projects to find ways of now addressing this mentoring issue. Because there is one major problem here, colleagues. Teachers 
are fatigued. Teachers are exhausted right now. And if we start, so we have to be very careful here. They say you can bring a horse to water, but you cannot force it to drink. And you cannot wake up a dead horse. So if teachers are fatigued, how can we now integrate the lessons we have learned from COVID to now be part of a 21st century mentoring program to deliver evolving best practice and excellence in teaching and learning? And that is a huge challenge. And in rural schools, because even in learning from the extremes, we're seeing that rural schools on their nuts, three definitions, etc. These are schools that have had to transform, revolutionize themselves. So I think the big challenge here is that we do not throw the baby out with the bath water, but we find more empathic, mindful, soulful, and professional ways to connect with our colleagues throughout European Union. And KA1 Mobilities is a beautiful way to do that. Because let us be honest, Teachers will go for a week of CPD, but they will also have a week of connectivity, relaxation, communication, sharing, dare I say it, professional love, collegiality, and a refibrillation <clears throat> of that difficulty, which has been two years where people have lost many people they love. So, we're in the middle of a program and I get it, Mensa, I understand. And as an advisor, I, I'm probably the worst person you could have chosen. But I would say this, if the human being is not at ease with his or her environment in school or with themselves, then all of the mentoring in the world will not make a difference. So the programs in the European Union, as we see digital education action plan coming on, digital and green, is to connect more, have the opportunity to create opportunities to connect and to share. And that will create the space you've spoken about, the culture you've spoken about, the opportunities to then have 21st century, meaningful, mindful, soulful, effective, proactive and collaborative mentoring and now Dahi will just thank you so much really thank you for your um, clear and uh, yeah um, very very inter interesting description of what happened and uh, also in Italy we experiencing this we are experiencing what you tell us I can yeah share. I can agree with uh, each single word you say. You said. So I I pass the shelf to somebody else that would like to uh, comment what uh, he said or or add some some experience in in this topic. Again, in a small and rural school and standard school in mentoring. Fernando. Hello. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, as only a small, small words about that. Um, we in Portugal, uh, we don't have uh, this separation between rural and non-rural schools. We have, uh, in fact, some schools in rural areas, of course, but there, that, there is no specific policy for these schools. Uh, what what we have in, in here in Portugal, the ministry has uh, divided the, the, the Portugal territory in type schools. These these type schools are in priority intervention school territories, and uh, these these type schools are in more disadvantaged areas. But these, these schools has therefore have a greater financial support to achieve conditions that overcome these constraints, okay, these type schools. Uh, however, uh, we in Portugal, uh, some of our mentor schools are, are in more disadvantaged areas, okay, our mentor schools. Uh, but they create and give their peoples all the competencies and skills in the various areas where digital has a lot of weight here. Uh, so, uh, um, 
the, the differences between rural, uh, rural and urban schools are very small here. In fact, there are many municipalities in rural areas uh, which give strong support to, to these schools. Uh, the, the, these municipalities are in rural areas, uh, as I say. Uh, as for example, in the, we have uh, this, this uh, municipality um, has uh, helped uh, to implement these innovative uh, educational environments like FCLs. We have a lot of uh, municipalities who, who invest uh, some money in, in, this, uh, in this FCL uh, in, in, in these schools, in these uh, rural areas. So uh, what, what, what we can say is there are no differences between the conditions that these schools give to their students and the more urban schools. So the, the conditions um, are, are the same. And finally, in Portugal, we have uh, an interesting situation in Mency, uh, where at least, at least one of the hubs the mentor school is, a, is in a, a rural area, okay? We have a mentor school, and this mentor school is in a, in a rural area. Uh, I know uh, the, the, the mentor school of, of the hub of Freixo, or the mentor school of the hub of Cristelo, and Lorenzo is, is my colleague, Lorenzo, is, is, is here. So uh, we have a mentor school in a, in a rural area, and all the mentor schools are in an urban area. So the mentor school are, are rural, and the, the four mentee schools are in a big urban uh, area. So it's interesting because they, they swap the, the, the idea. So the mentor is in rural area, and the other ones, the mentee, are in the urban area. And they, they work together. They share a lot of, of, of practice between them. So in Portugal, it's, it's more or less uh, like that. I don't know if, if Lorenzo uh, wants to, to say anything, or, or Nuno Durutaya, uh, one of our advisory members. But uh, for me, it's it's my experience tell me that. And my feelings. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. If Lorenzo would like to add something, otherwise... Lorenzo is no. Uh, Lorenzo is 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 a is a is a, is a colleague for a mentor okay. school. <laughs> yes, from, from, uh, as, from the director board. Yes, uh, as Fernando said, of course we are uh, the mentor school. In, we are in the rural area, and all other schools that are working with us uh, are in urban areas. Of course, as Fernando also said, the the, the technical conditions, all the conditions we have are uh, completely the same there are, there there, are, there is no difference between our school in a rural area uh, towards other schools in the, in the city so i think the the big difference uh, that we can do the difference is the people and the teachers that we are committed to engage some projects uh, uh, especially in digital area. And of course, all the work we are doing now with our colleagues in other schools, um, I think we, we have great success because all, all colleagues are committed uh, with this project and uh, uh, a lot of shares, uh, I think, make all the difference. Sorry, because I have a class in this moment, and uh, I have to do two different things. <laughs> okay, Please. don't worry. Thank you for your contribution. I would like to uh, add that also in Italy, we don't have any differentiation in... in, in no. We, we have the same uh, situation as in Portugal, so that there is no special um, special law for for small and rural school, and also we don't use this uh, uh, label to uh, talk about small school because this is the literary term for school that are located in uh, isolated area, which could be 
uh, small island or inner area or um, on the mountains, uh, etc. Just uh, is able to identify this kind of, of school that uh, also in Italy have a situation very um, yeah, differentiated in, in terms of organization in numbers, etc. It's complex to describe in a few words uh, what is our situation. Uh, but we, with, uh, with the UN and the special interest group that is we, we are going to set up, um, uh, let's say, monitored, monitored and uh, have been investigating on the situation in small and rural school in other countries. And it seems that, for example, ICT usage is something that uh, um, is common, let's say, uh, in many, in many, for example, in, uh, in Czech Republic or in Malta or in other countries. Um, ICT usage is uh, common uh, for students uh, based in the schools. And also, uh, it's always uh, ICT usage is um, frequent also in those small schools that uh, um, participate in Erasmus and e winning projects. So, for example, this condition gave them the opportunity to, uh, to be motivated, as Lucy said, and to be also and to collaborate with other schools um, outside their countries. And so the mentoring process is not uh, uh, formalized, but uh, is uh, in act um, for, for the schools that are part of this community, small and rural. If somebody else would like to, to add something uh, about the mentoring, probably our um, discussion should be um, more focalized on the relation between mentoring a small and rural school, if the small and rural school uh, um, add a um, positive uh, impact in, in, in being mentored, in working with other schools, in networking with other schools. Um, if somebody else would like to add and if you, for example, see that uh, this uh, policy exchange uh, mechanism could be useful, useful for for school at a national level. Enrique, do we have uh, any idea or proposal for them to shape this uh, this organism, this uh, policy exchange mechanism? Or... Oh, yes, I mean, of course, um, again, um, I also wanted to thank uh, all of the contributions that we had, uh, we've been having so far. Um, and, and as uh, um, Jussi was saying, uh, today bringing up the discussion of the uh, small and rural schools has also been uh, an excuse for us uh, kind of to launch the discussion. No? Um, we've been liaising with you all uh, individually uh, and especially when it comes to the advisory members according to your own interests. So at the end of the at the end of the day, um, the, 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 the whole point on, on running this policy exchange mechanism, it's not only about the policy exchange and the results uh, sorry, the, the results of the uh, policy exchange within the Mensi project, but also to see to meet uh, uh, your needs. So um, I, I have the impression that sometimes we, we get to discuss more at the individual level, so with the uh, individual advisory members or ministries according to their needs, and that it's missing to have uh, this type of discussion. Um, and I, I am aware, uh, and this has been mentioned by a couple of the speakers, that the fact that we are uh, running most of our activities uh, uh, online is not helping either, and that there's already quite a, a, an amount of fatigue regarding following up with all these kind of, of events. Um, but uh, just to say that uh, at least from our side, we are going to be very proactive in the next couple of months 
we are going to be getting back to you uh, individually uh, to propose uh, different uh, sessions that are targeting different elements that are connected to this uh, aspect. So uh, from your side, from the side of the ministries, of the regional authorities, of the uh, private uh, companies that are also represented, uh, here by the advisory members, we are, we are also very happy to uh, to receive your proposals. Uh, um, I believe uh, my colleague Silvia Spinoza, who who is also attending the session, has also been in touch with you uh, in case you had uh, proposals for for this kind of meeting. So uh, uh, be reassured that we are going to be proactive and we are going to come back to you with proposals. But we will be also extremely happy to see what are uh, what are your interests. So I, I've noticed that. Uh, other than the advisory members, we also have representatives from different countries. We have representatives uh, uh, from Spain, for Ireland, uh, Czech Republic. Uh, so, so we, we we are happy to to see that this is of interest. Um, we are going to try our best um, uh, in order to find topics that will be um, um, of your interest, hopefully. Josie, maybe I will I will add to um, for those of you that are I did a very brief introduction, but for those of you that are not that much aware um, of the project, I've already mentioned the project website. I will now post the link uh, within the chat, and um, also to let you know that the summaries of this discussion and the recordings of the presentations, etc., uh, will be hosted within the within the community. Um, so in case you want to follow up, it goes without saying that we will provide you with all the uh, information uh, via email as a follow up of this meeting, but just so that you know that everything will be regularly um, posted uh, within the website. I see that a couple of participants already <laughs> have to leave. Uh, it's true that we are running a bit late. <laughs> so. If nobody have or would like to add or to uh, ask for more detail, uh, have request, uh, would like to send proposal about this topic. Yeah, I just wanted to add that uh, as, as Enrique was saying, probably if you uh, uh, tonight or tomorrow, you come up, it comes up to your mind some some questions or some uh, interest that uh, uh, you would like to investigate. I mean, we are very interested in uh, better understanding the phenomenon of mentoring because uh, as uh, Dohi was saying, I hope uh, I this not misspelled your name. Um, many, many things changed since the pandemic. And I think I really agree that uh, this warm mentoring is really something we we need. So um, maybe it's something we should uh, focus and to look for also for some practices, some uh, some cases or um understanding the the success factors that uh, um that allowed uh, national agencies to uh, to make a, a mentoring cluster a mentoring group to to leave even without us because i think uh, like uh, for the students we want the students to be autonomous not to be dependent on uh, on us so I think that in the end, at the end of the day, the national agencies should try to make the schools and the clusters autonomous to organize, even though maybe sometimes you need, as though he was saying, fuel, energy or some even some structure. So I'm, I mean, we are very interested in uh, getting your your feedback, your uh, research questions, your interests, so that maybe we can also try to investigate better uh, these these topics, not only as as Mensi, but also as uh, part of the mm. advisory board and and part of the U European School Net uh, researchers and, and and groups in different um, occasions.
Dag, ja, als je stand up again. Yeah. Again, apologies because you're going away. I, I, I do not wish to. I love to listen to everyone, believe it or not. Sometimes I stay quiet, but to answer your question, uh, Sylvia, believe it or not, next week when we are on holidays here in Ireland, I have had the privilege of creating a, an environment for 51 teachers to go to Malaga, to Platero School. I will share that with you in the thing where the school is. We're going to a school which is involved in biodiversity, ecology, connectivity, hugging trees, with a whole week of KA1 CPD on resilience, mindfulness, well-being, digital well-being, multi-literacies 21st century. So we're knitting all of the aspects of that. I love the way you used it, warm mentoring into schools. And some of these schools are coming from the not three most remote rural areas. So I'm happy to feed back. We will do a full research with the teachers specifically because I felt that through Dublin West and in Ireland, maybe it was a good way to bring teachers back into the flow of mentoring. So next week, if any of you are in Malaga, by the way, just let us know and you have the opportunity to come and meet 51 crazy Irish teachers who after two years are definitely going to enjoy continuous professional development and mentoring. I can tell you that. <laughs> and thanks to the EU for KA1 mobilities. We, we say it is a wonderful way of doing it, but it will be a very warm opportunity, but we will be there taking it again. If there's anything you would like to know or any research or any piece of information, I'm happy to disseminate that with the teachers and to feed that back in even on a Google form. It may give you an incredible feedback of a microcosm of how teachers are now thinking from all of Ireland coming together for the first time where they can travel with certification. Many of them are, as you can imagine, as we've seen, uh, uh, again, our colleagues in Italy and so many other countries that we all suffer, but you suffer really badly. And we acknowledge that, as indeed we acknowledge what's happening in our own continent right now. But if we can share anything from this week of, of mentoring, where we are mentoring, and there will be every form of mentoring you could imagine from hugging trees to let Mother Earth mentor with us in a warm way. We are happy to share this with you because that is the way we need to go forward now as a community of practice, whole school community as a whole European family. So that week we will be, this day next week, we will have definitely will be, no, it's not next week. Next week I'm in Pisa. It's the following week. The skies have opened again, guys. Apologies. Next week is Pisa, the following Monday. So two weeks from today, we will be in Malaga. And that's the link into Platero Green. And leaving the school we have chosen, Platero Green School. So again, to our Spanish colleagues, thank you for having such incredible schools. Thank you, uh, Dr. Just to uh, reassure you that uh, uh, while this is, of course, meant as a as a policy exchange between Ministry of Education, regional authorities and other stakeholders. Uh, we do take note and we are going to make an effort like we did for this session also in trying to bring uh, 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 teachers to this kind of discussion. So I also thank uh, the partners of the Mensi project for involving the different, uh, the different schools because I think it's also very important to listen directly from who is it that we are working uh, with because then we, we get direct feedback. So thank you again uh, to Renzo. Um, and to, um, I lost her name to uh, Alfina, who intervened at the beginning of the of the session, because I think it's very it's very good to to listen from the director experience and involve them in, in the project. Anna, please. Um, uh, hi, hi everyone. It was really interesting to listen to these uh, presentations and first reports from direct voices. I mean, as you know, I am involved in. Uh, uh, in designing the, the training activities for the schools, we are about to uh, uh, pro to plan the, the, the second workshop for mentor schools uh, representatives. And this time there will be also some mentee school representatives invited to the workshop. And uh, so I'm very curious. I've got a question and that is considering the difficulties, the troubles, the the issues with the pandemic and so on. I'm very curious to get to know what, which uh, formats were the favorite ones. Uh, if you have, if you are aware of that, if there were 
uh, if they if, if it was everything was done online or if there were also I don't know learning walks, instructional rounds, teach meets and other formats. And secondly, if any schools has already come up with ideas uh, for incentives and rewards. Uh, or also if you are already aware of uh, short videos, snapshots uh, and uh, and resources that we can include in the in the in the big MOOC that we are uh, going to design for next uh, or to launch next uh, November. Actually, Anna, that's a good idea. I, I haven't thought so too, but uh, as part of the follow up of the discussion, it maybe it would also be interesting to, to share uh, with the, um, with all the participants uh, a note where they can submit uh, some of the ideas that you suggested. So how, how has it been in each, in each country has been coming out of the current situation and if they have resources linked to this kind of elements that could also be use, uh, useful for the mentoring uh, uh, clusters that we have in the project, but of course beyond, no? because that's uh, the full idea of the MOOC, I guess, uh, what we are targeting to. So that's a very good point, yeah. Probably, um, uh, no, uh, as researcher, we should uh, um, uh, identify the, the pillar of the process in each country and then put together or uh, find a balance between the, the, the process uh, in each country and um, identify what is uh, the most effective uh, process in mentoring uh, uh, between schools and uh, share the the step-by-step -step, uh, activities for example i mean in term uh, in sorry i was uh, reading the messages because um, reading the cluster diaries, for example, or um, participating in the workshop at distance, uh, um, I saw certain aspect of the mentoring process among small group of teachers. And um, as a researcher, I can see that there are some aspects that are repetitive, that are that reiterate among among group. A mem a member of the cluster. So, as as researcher or partner, as partner of the Mensi group, we can um, identify the mechanism of mentoring in each country, and then um, uh, give lights or highlights the the, the, the main uh, step or the main aspect, and put together. I don't know the format at the moment because I, I haven't read any cluster diaries or uh, just uh, at the look of the Italian one. Thank you. And thank you also to the colleagues who have uh, posted in the chat already some uh, links. Uh, I can't really wait to see those videos, just like all members of the team, of course, because, you know, from theory to practice uh, in such a uh, innovative field, uh, it will be really interesting and we will learn a lot also uh, from your uh, videos, from, from your experiences. Thank you. And if anybody can contribute as just like uh, some of you are, are doing, I guess uh, um, I'm sure that Enrique agrees uh, on that. Uh, we will also start selecting some of these videos, for example, or other forms of uh, experience of experience reports, uh, select some and uh, present them during our uh, second uh, work uh, mentoring workshop. Am I right? Um, am I wrong, uh, Enrique? OK, we're going to select some of these uh, as an example for, for, for uh, to open up the discussion and highlight both challenges and opportunities, uh, weak points of weaknesses and strengths. Yes, of course, um, all, uh, all examples uh, um, of this uh, similar kind of activities uh, linked or not to the directly to the project are 
are very welcome. And, and, and one of the things that we always try to say is that, um, um, of course, within the Mensi project, we are testing our approach, our approach to school to school mentoring. But uh, as it is well known, uh, there's no one single approach to things, no? and there's things that will work in some places that will not uh, in others. So we are also um, happy uh, in this regard from from learn uh, to learn from your from your uh, experiences. Um, and again, uh, building up on on the idea uh, I was trying to transmit before, and since we're in the last couple of minutes um, of the session. Um, we are also very much interested in learning what is, uh, uh, well, maybe the word is not missing, but what it is that you are interested in, or what do you think that would be able to involve uh, even further your own uh, communities at the national or regional level, and what kind of uh, activities uh, we, can to, we can try to push from our sides uh, in, order, in order to be able to better meet uh, your needs, while meeting the needs uh, of, of the project. So do not hesitate that we are going to get back to you and, and try to um, further engage even, even more uh, participants in the next couple of discussions. I, uh, I would also like to uh, insist, it hasn't been said uh, enough, uh, that in the same way that it happens with teachers, it's also the case uh, for us and the way that we communicate, that we will be hosting these lessons, uh, sessions online. But as soon as we are able to, to go back and start organizing uh, meetings also here in Brussels uh, face to face, um, we will be also um, happy to, to have you uh, here and, and exchange in a more productive and human way uh, as it is when we do it uh, face to face. Okay, if we don't have any more comments, we can uh, close this table, <laughs> the first <laughs> table of policy exchange mechanism, and probably we can plan uh, a future mean, me meeting uh, beginning next uh, school year, or as soon as the situation of the of this tool is uh, more detailed or more to share format or when uh, some comments or question uh, uh, can help us to identify the better yeah the better way this reminds me this reminds me that uh, uh, of course that's to be defined but we do intend to run a meeting at least on a bi-month bi-monthly basis so that we don't lose track of the activities that we are running. So you will uh, receive news uh, from us uh, very soon about when the next meeting will be and what will be the, the targeted uh, topic. OK. Again, from, yeah, from my side, I would like to thank again both uh, Silvia and Jussi and all the team uh, for uh, making possible this, this session. And we stay in touch and connect soon. Thank you also from my side and from Silvia from Indira team. And uh, I would like to thank you, Lucy, uh, for uh, comments and uh, speech. And uh, see you soon. Thank you from my side as well. Thank you.